All right. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I've been primarily designing around the Seed Studio ESP32 um, as the microcontroller to power Byte 90. And I originally picked this microcontroller specifically for its size as well as its support for battery charging. Now, what's great about this microcontroller too is it also has built-in Bluetooth and wireless, everything in such a small, tiny package, right? However, this tiny package does come with some design constraints, and that's the amount of pins you get to work with. So as I start adding more and more sensors towards Byte 90, I'm starting to run out of pins to actually use. So this has become a design constraint um, into elevating the experience as well as future hardware consideration. And I've always thought about designing my own custom microcontroller, which gives me the flexibility of like, you know, the amount of pins I wish to use. And that's something that I've been working on the side for quite a while, trying to understand and how to figure this out. So based on the trials and errors of Series 2 PCB, I've learned quite a lot and I'm able to produce my first custom prototype of my custom uh, microcontroller here. And this one here gives me more space and more pins to work with as I continue to develop and evolve Byte 90 in the future. And honestly, it's quite amazing to see what I was able to learn in the past two months of just, you know, troubleshooting and figuring things out with the Series 2 PCB. Um, a lot of learning experience, but I'm super excited to show you guys this, um, you know, side quest here of creating my own custom um, ESP32 S3 microcontroller. Um, I think it's looking really nice. Um, I just have to figure out how to shrink it quite a bit because the size is quite big still. Like if you were to put it um, beside the C Studio ESP32 here, you can see the size different. And it's as big as my Series 2 PCB itself. While it's not as tiny as the Seed Studio, um, I don't think size is an issue really. It's just how would I modulize this board so that I could use the space uh, properly and sandwich the two boards together. But yeah, so I thought I'd just share this with you guys. So follow for more as I, you know, continue this development for Byte90.